start writing heading we are doing first chapter measurement and experimentation measurement and experimentation this chapter is very simple few values you have to by heart from the information suppose you have to measure your weight then you will measure what how much cash you have in the pocket or you will measure in terms of kg how to measure this weight in cash or in kg cash in cash you will measure suppose you have 50 rupees you will say my weight is 50 kg you have 100 rupees you will say 100 kg no sir you will measure kg with kg only na yes so while measuring mass we will compare ourselves with kg time will compare with second that means for measurement we do comparison with value of that quantity with standard value like if 1 kg is multiplied with 50 we get mass so we can say that mass is 50 times more than the 1 kg mass that means actually we are comparing so i can say measurement is the process of comparison of given physical quantity with known standard quantity so mass with mass time with time length with length we have to compare with standard quantity that comparison is measured somebody says i am smart that means he is comparing with somebody so if a says i am smart than b then x comes he says no i am smarter than you so this is comparison smartness with smartness height with height length with length mass with mass that process is called measure so right define measurement this can come in exam what is measurement define measurement it is the process of comparison yes why you are so early again sir the uh, the internet was not working at my home the mobile data also was not there i am attending the lecture from my cousin's house okay <laughs> but your phone is working now you could inform or not it is the computer sir you said that he was traveling so he won't be able to attend the lecture therefore record no, no. see anything if it is from your side you have to convey me and from my side i should convey you because of this own online of online lectures but if you are not communicating 445 i am in front of the computer logged in and you people come at 515 i have got lecture at 6 next lecture so how to compensate say so for you it is one lecture one lecture over you are relaxed but i have got from morning 8 to evening 930 lecture continuously on this network so you can think my difficulty how it is it comes strain on the eye then no direct physical contact with the student sir okay can you define measurement it is the process of comparison of given physical quantity it is the process of comparison of given physical quantity with the known standard quantity with known standard quantity of the same nature very important a standard quantity of same nature with known standard quantity of same nature word is very important so it is process of comparison of given physical quantity with the known standard quantity of the same nature 
it is process of comparison of given physical quantity with the known standard quantity of same nature four five times you all memorize in your brain so that when i ask you'll be able to answer this you have to revise and memorize in the class itself only in front of you ho gaya to bol dena because easy chapter hai it is process of comparison of given quantity with the known standard quantity of same nature it is process of comparison of given physical quantity with the known standard quantity of same nature yaad ho gaya can anybody tell me now definition of measurement yes can you tell yes the measurement is the process of comparison of a given quantity to a standard known quantity of same nature of the same uh, nature same. same nature that is also important next mm -hmm. yes. given name if you use some standard to measure physical quantity like i said mass will measure in kg length in meter time in second so this kg meter second which are standards used for measuring physical quantity of same nature is actually called standard so in simple language i can say standard used for measuring physical quantity is called unit as per your textbook if i want to say i will say unit is the quantity of constant magnitude unit is the quantity of constant magnitude which is used to measure the magnitude of other quantity of same nature matlab ek 1 kg is suppose x then 10 kg will be 10x so this x becomes our standard compared to this other similar quantity kitna time jyada that becomes its value so standard write down unit ka definition it is the quantity unit is the quantity it is the quantity of a constant magnitude it is the quantity of constant magnitude which is used to measure it is the quantity of constant magnitude which is used to measure the magnitude it is used to measure the magnitude of the other quantities of same nature other quantities of same nature it is the quantity of constant magnitude which is used to measure the magnitude of other quantity of same nature it is quantity of a constant magnitude it is quantity of constant magnitude which is used to measure magnitude of other quantity of same nature again revise two three times in your mind done hello can i clear this measurement and unit both you have written hello 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 yes sir if you if i say measure the length of the pen so you will tell me answer in what kilogram rupees second meter centimeter millimeter how will you say meter either meter or centimeter so quantity which you have measured is length and its answer is given in terms of something in something that means some unit and some magnitude 5 meter 5 cm or something so 5 is what numerical value 5 is number 
and m is what unit so any physical quantity has got two things with it number and unit so just write note physical quantity whenever it is measured it will have how many things dash and dash it will have so it will have numerical value 1 2 3 4 5 6 that way numerical value and unit so numerical value into unit always gives you the value of a physical quantity numerical value into unit gives physical quantity Return. Yes, sir. So can I say numerical value into unit of a given physical quantity should be constant? For example, as I said, I'm measuring length of pen. My five meter will remain five only. But somebody says unit, I will take centimeter. Then he will say answer 500 centimeter. So is he wrong? Meter wale ne bola 5 meter. Centimeter wala bola 500 centimeter. Kon right hai? Both are right na? Both are right or one person is right? n is constant upon u so i can say n and unit are inversely proportional matlab unit chota the number will become mota write this five lines in mcq they can ask Completed. A choice of units. Or they can say, what are requirements of good units? Choice of units. The unit chosen should have following properties. The unit chosen should have following properties. First, the unit should be of convenient size. The unit should be of convenient size. Unit should be of convenient size means if I want to measure length of pencil, pen, then I cannot take the unit in terms of meter. Best will be in centimeter. So it should be of convenient size. Somebody's height, person's height, I have to measure. So I can't measure in millimeter. I have to measure in centimeter or meter so that we get properly or in foot. So unit should be of convenient size. If I have to bring apples from the market, then I cannot measure it with milligram i have to measure it in gram or kilogram so this is meaning of convenient size but if i have to purchase gold gold i will not measure in kilogram i will measure in milligram or gram so unit should be of convenient size second it should be possible 
to define the unit it should be possible to define the unit without ambiguity without ambiguity means without any trouble it should be easily defined it should be possible to define the unit without ambiguity like if i say 1 meter is 100 cm it is very easily possible to understand 1 meter is 100 cm so it should be actually defined without any ambiguity third the unit should be reproducible that means it should be converted from one system to another the unit should be reproducible the unit chosen should have following properties first the unit should be of convenient size second it should be possible to define the unit without ambiguity third it should be easily reproducible one more point four the value of unit should not change with time and place with space and time should not change with space and time next day types of units there are two types of units are you knowing which two types of unit do you know this there are two types of unit means which two types one is called fundamental fundamental or it is also called as basic units fundamental or basic units second one is derived units there are two types of units one is called fundamental or basic unit second is called derived units here yeah, return there are two types of unit fundamental or basic unit second is derived unit right first one fundamentals fundamental or basic units a fundamental or basic units are those units which does not depends which does not depends on any other units example 
मीटर किलोग्राम सेकेंड एम्पियर लेंथ मास्ट कैलविन कैंडेला मोर आर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन फंडामेंटल और बेसिक यूनिट रेस्ट ऑल आर डिराइव डिराइव यूनिट दोस यूनिट्स विच डिपेंड्स on fundamental units are called as derived units those units which are which depends on fundamental units are called derived units completed completed writing yes sir so two types of units are fundamental derived now there are some system of units sir there are only nine fundamental units no seven seven no oh. system of units first cgs system or it is also called as french system in this system the unit of length is centimeter unit of length is centimeter mass is gram and time is second so first system of unit cgs system or french system where length is in centimeter mass is in gram and time in second second f ps system or british system fps system or british system in this system the unit of length is foot denoted by f suffix t mass is pound denoted by lb time in second denoted by s so cgs system means french fps is british system Yes, completed. CGS and FPS system. Yes. Uh.
yes sir yes sir okay third one m k s system or metric system all these three are now discarded actually we will be using si system metric system in this system the unit of length is meter mass in kilogram time in second written written till mk system yes sir now what yes. is si system the system of unit which is universally accepted universally accepted is called as SI system of units. It is abbreviation of abbreviation means short form of. It is abbreviation of सिस्टम में सिस्टम में इंटरनेशनली डी यूनिटीज तो ऐसा ही सिस्टम इस यूनिवर्सली एक्सेप्टेड सिस्टम बट इस एक्चुअली शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ सिस्टम में इंटरनेशनली डी यूनिटीज देर आर सेवेन ऐसा ही सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट फॉर seven fundamental quantities and two complementary si system of unit for angle so seven fundamental units two complementary fundamental units and then we say nine but actually basic is seven the two are called complementary right this much I'm clearing this now. List of fundamental quantities with SI units. Make this table. For quantity, then unit symbolic representation. Length, mass, time, temperature. इलेक्ट 
इलेक्ट्रिक करंट ल्यूमिनस इंटेंसिटी अमाउंट ऑफ सब्सटेंस लेंथ यूनिट इज मीटर मास इन किलोग्राम टाइम इन सेकेंड टेम्परेचर इन कैलवीन करंट इन एम्पियर ल्यूमिनस इंटेंसिटी इज इन कैंडेला एंड अमाउंट ऑफ सब्सटेंस इज इन मोर सो मीटर इज डिनोटेड बाय एम किलोग्राम के जी सेकेंड Kelvin, ampere, candela, mole, m, l. These are seven fundamental unit. In addition to this, there are two com complementary units that I am writing further. When is your coming exam? Any date they have given? Coming exam date and chapter? Yes, sir. Uh, which chapter and when? Oh. Sir, it is motion in one dimension. And when they have kept that? Sir, I will. I will have to see with. Okay. Just afterwards, post me. No problem. Okay, sir. If you are done with this list, please tell me so that I will clear and write. That complementary fundamental unit. Sir, one minute. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Done. Okay. Others have also completed this writing. in addition to seven fundamental quantities there are two complementary fundamental units as shown plane angle measured in radian symbol is rd then solid angle it is measured in steradian steradian S T R D. Plane angle means angle due to union of ray. Solid angle is angle due to plane. So if I draw on the board, I get plane angle. But if I draw on the sphere inside the sphere, I get solid angle. Two lines say plane angle, and plane says solid angle.
Yes, completed. Hello, completed. Yes, sir, done. Okay, चलो फटाफट ये रिवाइज कर लेना अभी नेक्स्ट पार्ट करता हूं डिफाइन एस आई यूनिट ऑफ लेंथ डिफाइन एस आई यूनिट ऑफ लेंथ डिफाइन एस आई यूनिट ऑफ लेंथ There are two definition. We will go as per the re recent definition. In nineteen eighty three, the meter was defined as the speed of light defined in terms of the speed of light. according to which one meter is the distance covered by light in 1 upon 3997929259 uh, 29975458 distance covered by light is 1 meter uh, speed of light according to which 1 meter is distance covered by light in 1 upon 299792 458 of second in air or vacuum earlier it was in wavelength but recent it is defined in terms of speed of light Which is distance covered by light in one upon two nine nine four five eight of second in air or vacuum. Right definition is distance covered in that much time which you have to buy two nine nine seven nine two four fifty eight. next lecture mostly will be able to complete this chapter completed sub units of meter so sub means small part and multiple means big part sub unit of meter subtract means you have to minus so here sub means small so for measurement of small length we require meter to be divided into number of part so first part is centimeter symbolic notation cm 1 cm is nothing but 1 upon 100 part of meter then millimeter is mm 1 mm is 1 upon 1000 part of meter or you can say 1 upon 100 A thousand into centimeter. Me agar kya to into hundred centimeter. That is equals to one upon ten centimeter. Because one centimeter is hundred, so one meter I will write hundred. So one millimeter, one upon thousand meter. Meter means hundred centimeter. So one millimeter is one upon thousand meter or one upon ten in centimeter. Then micro meter or micron one micron it is denoted by this letter mu equals to 10 raised to minus 6 meter
फोर्थ नैनोमीटर वन नैनो मीटर टेन रेज टू माइनस नाइन मीटर कंप्लीटेड हेलो कंप्लीटेड यस सर कंप्लीटेड फाइन सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल स्टार्ट एट फोर थर्टी फर्स्ट यू विल हैव टेस्ट 